Right. Hello, uh, Mr. Roger Schmidt, uh, Raquel Mateus Silva for BTV. I would like to ask you about uh, Gil Vicente, that uh, is in a good moment of the season. Uh, for, the first, for the first time, has two victories in a row. So what kind of opponent are you expecting? Thank you. Yeah, like you said, so they are in a good moment of the season, but they are anyway a good team. Huh? So uh, when we analyze them, you see a team who is... Uh, who has a clear idea for all the moments of the game. So against the ball, um, with the ball, they are very brave. So they believe in themselves. They play football um, even in the final third of the of the pitch. So in my opinion, they are doing uh, very well tactical wise. And um, so in the last two matches, like you said, they, they won in a very good way, away match uh, in Portimonense and against Vitoria. So we know that um, against them to play is always difficult. Um, but I think we are also in a good moment of the of the season, so we have the confidence um, also to play tomorrow in our stadium a very good match. And um, I think I expect that we need a very good match to win the game. Torce o Roger Schmidt. O que é que estes já sabe o que é que um dos reforços vai vai trazer ao Benfica? Já viu o que é que ele pode fazer? O que é que estes três mais recentes reforços podem trazer à equipa do Benfica para esta segunda parte da época? Obrigado. The three recent. The four players. Yeah, I think we we have to distinguish. So the players they 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 are very dif different. When they arrived, also they were in different different shape. But if you see the the four players, uh, so I think Marcos Leonardo already showed uh, his uh, quality when he was a sub and came in. So he scored in all the all the matches, uh, except the, the the League Cup game. But I think um, he showed already that he is is a very good footballer, very good uh, connected already to the teammates. The challenge for him is to yeah to get 100% fit huh? to to get the physical shape also to to play uh, from the from the start. But at the moment, in my opinion, so with Arthur, uh, with uh, Marcos, and uh, also now with Kasper is back in, in team training. So I think up front, we have also the the, the options to to, re to to use the player the, the right player uh, at the uh, right moment. So I think uh, Marcos is doing well. Um, Alvaro is doing very well in training, so I think he is also. Uh, he will also. He already got a few minutes, but he will also play in the near future from uh, from the start. So uh, he is doing very well. Um, I think he also is a player who is able to to get um, very quick, uh, good feeling for the tactical uh, behaviors uh, as a as a fullback. So he's. Um, adapting very quick, so I'm looking forward also to see him um, on the pitch. Um, and um, yeah, with, um, with Benjamin uh, Rollheiser, I think is another player who comes more or less from uh, from um, from resting uh, after the season in uh, Argentina. But I think also he played already against Estrella to get him also very sh very quick connected to the teammate. And with Gianluca Prestiani, we have a very young player. Unfortunately, he got injured um, um, and he is out for the for the next, I think, three weeks. Uh, has a problem with the ankle. So, but also he showed already in training that he is a player who is uh, for the future of Benfica very important. But in my opinion, anyway. So our challenge at the moment is. Uh, so we are very happy about these four transfers. We are very happy that. Um, David Neres is back, that Alexander Ba is back, that Kasper is back, so the three long-term injuries. We hope that also um, Juan Bernard um, can, can, can start um, in the near future again. And um, our challenge now is to bring all these players also at the right moment on the pitch. Huh? So to, to have them ready also in a tough, very tough schedule in the upcoming weeks because we have a lot of matches to play in different competitions and now in my opinion the challenge is to to use the players at the right moment um, but uh, but <laughs> nevertheless to to win the matches há cinco jornadas que o Benfica vai em perseguição do Sporting um jogos tem jogado antes do Sporting outros após o Sporting. Em termos de pressão, o que é que prefere? Jogar antes ou depois? 
for me, I don't care about that. So I think we need our full focus um, um, on our matches. Um, I think I expect a, a, a race until the last, uh, last match day for the, for the championship this year. So I think all the teams are very strong. Uh, Sporting is, do very, is doing very well. Porto, uh, anyway, uh, Braga is doing well. So uh, all the other matches also in the league, they are very demanding. Uh, I can I can be really very clear uh, for my for my focus. So it is not any uh, effect for me if the if the other teams play before and they win or they play after. So I don't care about that. I know that we uh, need a lot of points to win the championship. So that's our goal, um, and um, the the schedule uh, is is like it is. So you have to accept. It makes no sense to think about it because <laughs> I cannot change it. Bom dia, Roger Gonçalo Batista, CMTV. Com o mercado fechado, o Benfica contratou quatro jogadores nesta janela, naquele que foi um investimento até bastante avultado. Pergunto-lhe se acha que se, se o plantel está melhor e se considera que o Benfica tem o melhor plantel e o mais equilibrado em Portugal. Yeah, it's a good question. So, in my opinion, I cannot answer this question. So, we have to show it on the pitch and in the upcoming months. So, I think. Um, we are doing well. We did already well the first half of the season. Now we had some changes, maybe a little bit more than we expected, because uh, there were some players who, who wanted to leave. So we agreed some good transfers for these players and also for the club. And we got also some opportunities on the market to get players already now in winter instead of uh, uh, next uh, summer to get them uh, um, uh, quicker integrated and give them also some time to get used to, to everything at Benfica. And in my opinion, <coughs> we have a fresh energy uh, in our squad. We have um, a lot of players with, um, yeah, with, with potential also for the future. Very young team, very, young, very good young uh, new players. And so I think the, the, the balance in the squad is, is uh, very good and the perspective for the players regarding their potential, their quality, um, is very good, but also I think the club created very good values. So I think our club has a lot of uh, potential also that players grow and uh, increase their, their value. But this is, everything is long term. So for, the, for, the, for here and now, I think it's, a, it's the challenge now to get these players also in their best shape, to give them the confidence that they can perform on their best level. It's not so easy because we have not like a pre-season, six weeks, you can do everything with the players. So they come from holiday, but nevertheless, they have to play for a club uh, who, who needs to win titles uh, already this season. So that's a little bit the, the, the challenge for us, for the players, but also for, for us as a coaching team. But um, if you ask me like that, I'm very happy with our uh, squad. Um, but I see it also as a demanding uh, situation to integrate all the new players and the players who come from injuries. So that's a little bit our situation. The good thing is, even without these players, even without the injured players, we were already playing well. So that gives us a confidence. Um, and now with, uh, with a lot of games in a very short time, I think we have to find the right approach to, uh, to bring everything together. Hello, Roger. Pedro Gamit, Sport TV. I would like you to ask you um, about the team that you are going to start against Gil. In what measure did you or are, are you going to choose the team thinking about the next game against Vizela because it's a knockout game? And also thinking about the yellow card of Florentino and um, Orkun Kokshu. They are one card, one yellow card away of being booked. Um, are we going to see some uh, shuffle in the midfield uh, thinking about this game, the yellow cards and also the next game against Vizela? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like always, you have to think about a lot of uh, topics. Um, I think we, we are uh, fresh, so we played uh, last Monday and now it's, uh, the next game is tomorrow on Sunday. That's not a problem. I think also three, dames, three, uh, three days between matches is not a problem for, for Thursday. I think then, of course, from Thursday to Sunday is always uh, very demanding, especially when you play two away matches uh, far away in the north so if you play in Vizela and then in uh, Vitoria so it's not so easy for the players if you have to travel there come back and travel again uh, there come back so I think 
and that's why I, I always try to be completely open for each single match to make the, the right choices and the right uh, decision. In general, that we have to um, use the, the, the players, all the, all the players, on the, the whole squad in the upcoming weeks, I'm, I'm sure about that. So, and I think I'm very happy that we have a, a lot of different um, options. But nevertheless, each single match we have to find the best approach to win the game. So because we we have to win uh, games and we need a lot of points, like you said, on uh, Thursday is a knockout match. But our completely focused right now is on um, on Gil Vicente tomorrow in the league. Martinetto isn't available for tomorrow. Is that a good news for you? And uh, can he still believe and Paul Bernardo be the return to Benfica? I'm happy that Martin is doing uh, very well in uh, Gil Vicente. Um, yeah, that's the rule in, in Portugal. So it's for me also a new rule because yeah, it was before. It doesn't matter if they were on loan or not. They could always play in Portugal is different. Um, and um, yeah, I think we take it like it is. And so, but for me, um, the older players who, who go for loan, who are coming out of the Benfica use, the idea with the loans is always to give them match practice, to give them also the chance to, to develop in another team, to, to get more confidence and to take more responsibility. And if they are doing um, well, so then of course there are always options also for, for Benfica, that because that's the idea and the sense of the, of the loan. Uh, and transfers, so we are always um, trying to have a very good overview uh, to all the players who are on loan from Benfica, and, and then of course at the end of the season we always have to make decisions, but together with the players because we have to um, we have to um, respect always also their their idea, um, but that he's doing well, especially because he had a very uh, very um, uh, difficult injury uh, a few, uh, one year ago. So I'm, ve I'm very happy about him. <laughs> 